the Uptok Good Afternoon Explorers. Today I'm in Randy and uh, next to me there is the mayor, Mr. David. David, we are in this beautiful house, among this authentic house, because today we are going to explain uh, about the figolla. What is it, the figolla, David? Okay, the figolla is a figure which is uh, made, it is pastry food, uh, sweet, mm -hmm. that is made especially in Easter. Uh, here we can see a number of form works uh, where the figola is made in different shapes. Oh, yeah, Mainly the shapes are uh, attributed to religion. Okay, you see uh, the lamb, lamb of God, the fish, okay, maybe the bird or the duck. Okay, but then with modern times we have the car, we have the heart, we have cats. That's okay. really, that's really lovely. Now here we are finding the pastry which is done. And our friends here, uh, Vivian Samu and Doris Camilleri, they are preparing the inside or the infill. Uh, but this I leave it up to them and they will explain uh, what they are doing. The pastry is ready. It's ready, that's nice. And um, uh, it's made of... Vivian, exactly. Flour, okay. a pinch of salt, right. baking powder, yes. margarine, sugar, um, grated lemon, lemon yes. ring, okay, uh -huh. uh, vanilla, and eggs. Lovely. And then okay. we will explain explorers in the article we will put down on the recipe. So it's an Easter cake. And uh, we should wait Easter before try it. But we will see at the end if not explorer will be able to resist. They are making almonds. Okay, so the filling how is made of? The, the, uh, the, the, uh, it's pure almond. Pure almond crumb, mm -hmm. right? Uh, sugar and eggs. And eggs. Okay. Fantastic. And, and the almond, almond essence. essence. That's great. Lovely. Mm, the smell is amazing. Today my explorers is a sweet exploration. I walked up we had salmon. And we have those two lovely ladies that <laughs> welcome us as in a family. They make for us the tea and the sweets. Oh, I'm so happy. It's so nice to be here in Malta and especially in the south, Randy, because, um, David, because you can really feel the sense of family, uh, community. Randy is a place where you're always welcomed. And David is the first to show you up the place, his yeah, village, yeah, yeah. and to introduce yeah, you to his... Yeah. Uh, um, uh, to this lovely lady that are friends. Yes, uh, uh, here they are not just friends, they are more like family here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, here they are very happy today to welcome you uh, inside their home. Okay? And they are made, trying to make the best of what they can produce for you to share and to take home with you and for other people also uh, to be able to uh, uh, make uh, the yes. delicacies. Yes, explorers, because at home now that you will have the recipes and you will see uh, how is the, the process to make it, you will be able as well to make your own figola. The problem with making figolas, how much, how much figola do you make? <laughs> because yes. as soon as they are uh, finished, they are, out from the, yes. they are temptation. Oh, really? I think when he cooks it, when uh, it comes from out from the oven, <laughs> yes, we all want a piece of figola. And which kind of um, uh, shape we want to use, baby? Uh, a little, uh, yes, it is, it is just a matter of choice. This is uh, normally, it is made uh, to be more attractive. Okay, so uh, if you want to give a uh, figola to your girlfriend, normally you will give it with a heart. With a heart, okay? yes. If you have a small boy or a small girl, you will give them a duck. A duck. And the boy, you will give them a rabbit. Or a little cat. Okay? Yeah. Or a small sheep or a bird. Shall we want to do the fish that is a symbol of Christianity? Yes. Okay. So they will see before and after. Okay. Shall we do? Or do you want to do another form, Viviane? No, no, it's no problem. That's really nice. 
So you see the expert hands, how they go. <laughs> Hey, de, hey, de la, eh, thank you. Hey, the hey, 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 Bravo Doris, so nice. <laughs> Bravo Vivian. <laughs> so you need to do uh, two uh, times. Two, so two, two. one it will be... Uh -huh. Now the filling okay. and... Okay, all right, perfect. So now you have seen the base. Yes. Okay, and Vivian, now she is putting the infill. Okay. Okay. The infill, this time it is made from almond, almond. with the the lemons and, and, the and vanilla and yes. oil yes. that was preferred before. Okay. When we say it is handmade, this is what we mean. As you can see, Doris, she is putting flour on her hand so that it does not stick. She is putting the almonds and she is placing it there uh, to actually fill it in. And this must not, this oh, must be more solidified, okay. Okay? okay, because otherwise if it is not falling, it will break, it will fall, okay, so it is not normal that you will do it with knife, fork, spoon, okay? but with the hands it is done much, uh, much more efficient. Exactly, I, I agree that when you do this sort of cake, you need to put your hands in the paste, yes. in the filling, and only this way you can make a, a good product. <laughs> And this is the tradition, it's so nice. Yes, it will settle now and it will fill, fill, uh, fill more. Okay. So what uh, uh, Vivian now she's making, she has put some water. Oh, that's another secret. Yes, now okay. here oh. Vivian she's putting the top layer now. And with the water that we put, we should really it, close. It, it, it close, yes. So, explore it. It's a, a simple, uh, a simple mm -hmm. cake. Mm -hmm. Now everyone mm -hmm. now can do it at home before Easter. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have seen the pastry. You do two layers, fill it, and you close with the secret of the water. So now look. What what shape do you want now? Oh wow, we do another shape. Allora, mm. shall we do the lamb as well? That is another the lamb. The symbol. The lamb. The lamb. Uh -huh. Exactly. So okay. Okay. So okay. Mm. okay. Anna, the lamb will be here. For the first time, the lamb will be here. Yeah. Okay, now. Because yesterday she was doing it with two children. She was teaching young, young two young girls. Oh, so we pass eight, eight, eight years, years old to the new generation. <laughs> Good, that's lovely. You can imagine what you had at her kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine that they would have made a mess, but a lot of fun, I think, for those two girls. <laughs> Now we are at the final oh, process, the fun. cooking <laughs> process. Uh, Vivian, for how long has to stay in the oven? Like this, it's a time. Uh, uh, 30 minutes, 35. Until it comes gold, basically. Mm -hmm. And how uh, much? The temper? 200 degrees? 180, I guess. 180 for almost 30 yeah, minutes. Check it out, guys. When you see that it's so gold and bright, it's mm -hmm. like. <laughs> no, <laughs> and hot. And hot? <laughs> no, no. So. Okay, so now Doreen is putting the, the, the chocolate with the Vivian. They melted in not the water. Look, look, look. And now they will cover it with all the chocolate. No, but they're in. Tara, no, no.
But the white will not going to melt it. No, we will use it as a... The Pajdar Gvila, what do you mean? No, it's one of the most funny parts of the world. But it's not going to melt it. It's not going to melt it. It's not going to melt it. So you make sure that it's all covered. Mm -hmm. It's important. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> yeah. We want chocolate everywhere. Also because it's the only way that then the decoration can stick, can uh, uh, mm, be fixed so on the figure or else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So nice. Wow. It came like this. No? Yes, it comes. Let me show you. I'm in the line. So, you see, guys, that in the middle there is the filling with the other grounds. And up. Oh, so lovely. Yes, you use a different color. And then uh, um, uh, you no. used to put on a big uh, egg, a big egg. We put, we put it this way. Oh, sure. Because oh. I was going to leave it for him to eat it. <laughs> yeah, so I've lost that then, didn't it? Ta-da! <laughs> 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 this is just one way. <laughs> because in the traditional <laughs> the bottom, there would have been icing. Icing sugar. Yes. But okay. now this is much more preferred. Uh -huh. it's, the it's, then the ice it's more even the taste. It's exactly. better with chocolate. Because there is already the sugar mm. in the filling and so on. That's really nice. Mm. And this is the typical Maltese cake for Easter, my dear explorers. So enjoy Malta, enjoy Malta during Easter and come to Randy to find this lovely family and the mayor that will surely welcome you and uh, will show you up the place and you will be part of this family. So bye bye and happy Easter! Ciao! Thanks Vivienne, thanks Dolly, Pauline and Danny. Thanks to all of you. <laughs> and now we finish with this fantastic family tea. Thank you!